Hi, this is Matt Black. I'm going to give you a quick run through of the set which we've been using for the Journeys by VJ Cold Cut show. And uh, that is based around four turntables, a mixer, and uh, two Mac laptops running Virtual DJ and a bunch of other toys. We're going to have a quick look through those now. The basis of this system is Virtual DJ, which is this quite cool. Uh, French software by Atomics, being licensed by Newmark Virtual DJ, and this has two virtual turntables that can play MP3s, but they can also play videos. So what we've got are a bunch of cold cut backing tracks, like beats and pieces. And the cool thing is that I can play these with their sound, with their video. I can mix those two videos, uh, two streams together. Okay, as I move the crossfader backwards and forwards, it mixes between Rather than having to do it in the software, I can actually use this mixer as a controller and I can use these turntables as a controller as well. So the mixer has a crossfader and that outputs MIDI and that is looped through, connected through to control the crossfader of Virtual DJ. And the nice bit are these time-coded vinyls here, which is uh, the system first originated by Final Scratch, I believe, and now with um, Serato and... Uh, virtual vinyl, various other systems. This has a time code signal on this vinyl, and when we play the vinyl, it sends a control signal through a, a sound box into the computer. So these are not making any uh, noise of the track. The track is all coming from within the software, but they just provide a control signal. video and the sound playing back. That's a sort of typical baby scratch and then we're using the mixer to cut in the sound and the visual for that track as well. So make like a hip hop DJ scratching that sound. Time-coded vinyl, scratching, audio-visual tracks. This is a Akai, an Akai trigger pad, similar to the pads found in the hip-hop machines such as the MPC 2000. And what we've got here are these pads assigned to cue points within the track. Let me just quickly demonstrate the uh, MPC functions, having a bit of a jump around. <laughs> So let's move over here. That is the basic two turntable setup with virtual DJ and the drum controllers. Video is fed into this uh, V4 video mixer. And then we come to the other half of the setup, which is my man Raj Panu. And he also has the same software, virtual DJ running on a Mac, running on a Mac. Uh, runs on PC as well two turntables with time-coded vinyl and the video output from the Mac coming into the video mixer here. Raj's Vestax DJ mixer is a special one which we've customized to have a MIDI output from it, similar to the Pioneer there, but being a, a proper scratch DJ, Raj prefers having the nice and uh, fluid crossfader there, which you only get on these DJ mixers, so we customise this by putting a little circuit inside which outputs MIDI from that crossfader. That MIDI comes out and controls the V4. So actually, let's give a quick demo of that ride. So that shows the uh, basic four deck audio visual mixing. So Raj can have two uh, audio visual pieces playing at the same time and I can have two as well. So we can have all together four 
tracks of audiovisual uh, playing at the same time. But in fact, usually I'm playing one and Raj is playing one or two. And there's a couple of other tricks which we use to composite those layers on top of each other. There's various ways in which the uh, strings can be mixed. Here's, uh, what's this guy <coughs> Gonzo. Gonzo on the crazy smoke trumpet. And he's on the blue background there. And using the uh, chroma key function on the V4, if I turn that on, we now see that the blue background has disappeared and Gonzo's nicely and cleanly keyed on top of my backing track to show that and kick this one off again. Here I've got a camera which when Raj is doing his uh, turntable uh, extravaganzas I can sh mix the camera action into the screen as well so people can actually see in the audience that he's directly manipulating that sound. This is a bit of a track of beats and pieces where we break it down and uh, Juice says we're going to show you that what you see is what you hear and that's when we focus in, break the track down so there's less going on and uh, it's easier to see what Raj is actually doing. trigger pads but in fact he's got two pads one for each turntable so again this is a kind of combination instrument half MPC half turntable uh, and two of those setups and controlling audiovisual material so there's one uh, of the pads and the other one is over here and those are controlling cue points which we've programmed in to the tracks like this Rage Against the Machine track which everyone uh, seems to know and love and so Raj can use that as a combination instrument, triggering different cue points and cutting the track up in a percussive style and also scratching those parts, uh, that track using the turn -taker. Okay, I think that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you, Juice, for filming it. Boom. Cool.